Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make some clam chowder with some smoked clams. It's winter time, clam season, kind of a gloomy day. Can't think of anything better than a nice clam chowder. Let's do it in a Dutch oven. Y'all stay tuned. <music> need first you're going to need some one half of a one two-thirds of a chimney a half to two-thirds of a chimney of stubs uh, all-natural charcoal and today we're going to use the 10 inch lodge uh, deep Dutch oven uh, we had some people asking if our ovens were shallow or deep all of ours are deep all right for the food ingredients right here we have three medium Florida gold potatoes peeled and cubed into approximately half inch cubes. Now here we have one small sweet onion. Uh, this recipe is traditionally made with celery. We have Swiss chard growing in the garden and I'll insert a little picture here of it. And these are the stems from the Swiss chard. They're very celery like and they have great color. If you don't have that beautiful Swiss chard, uh, use celery. Just cut it fairly small. Here we have our standard uh, one, one strip of thick cut uh, smoked bacon. Here we have, uh, these are uh, steam clams that we've shucked. You know, we steam them a little to get them out. And then here's some that we smoked on our big smoker yesterday. We just uh, let those go in there for a little while and then we put just a little bit of soybean oil on them. Okay, for spices, you're, well, let's not get too far ahead. We also have uh, saved some of the clam broth from uh, cleaning the clams there. All right, then salt, fresh pepper, a little bit of garlic. We might also need a little oil for this recipe, but we'll fill that in. All right, since we're needing mostly bottom heat today, uh, we're just gonna nestle the 10 inch right down on to a solid uh, solid bed of coals there and we'll, uh, you know, we might shift some of them around in or out depending on how hot it's getting so we're gonna give that just a couple minutes and we'll get started okay our uh, Dutch oven is nice and hot there now you see a little bit of smoke coming off in this evening so and I you guys uh, notice I have uh, taken some of my subs uh, advice and switched over to uh, wooden. So we're going to give that just a minute to kind of start rendering, keep it moving around. That stuff is pretty hot. And I'll apologize in advance for the wind noise. We got about a 30 mile an hour wind today because big cold front coming. Breaking thick and starting to brown. Let's go ahead and put in our potatoes. These are going to take the longest of anything that we got to cook. So they're obviously going to go in first. And we just want to brown them a little bit. Alright, well we, these potatoes, we, uh, we covered them with a little bit of lime juice uh, when we cut them. That served the purpose of from turning brown. But now that they're in the pot, we're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle them a little more. This is key lime juice. Use a fresh Asian lime or whatever you got. So we just wanted to get those started browning. Just gonna give us a little head start. Okay. Here's the point where you need to go ahead and get some moisture. I don't want this to be a dark uh, broth. So here is our clam juice reserved from the clams. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there and let that come up to a boil. And that will start um, cooking our potatoes. And then we're gonna have to supplement with that with some water as we go. So right now, I'm gonna stick the lid on to hold up that moisture in there. And that's gonna give us a real clammy flavor. Uh, building layers of flavor like I usually do in a, any type of soup like this. Ok, 
Okay, just uh, been about five minutes. We got those, uh, they're nice, they're beautiful simmer right now. So now that they're, we started to cook them a little bit, now is the time to go ahead and put your salt in. Here, I'm only going to go with about a teaspoon, and then we'll adjust as we go. At this time, I'm also going to put in two large pats of butter and our garlic. We'll get that right in there and give it a little stir. But right now, we'll let it uh, melt the butter first. It's also all, almost making a sauce in the bottom of the pan. So right now, we're gonna go ahead, give it about a cup of water or so. Just cover the potatoes so they can cook fully. And these uh, cut this way will not take that long. As we said earlier, we're on heat control there a little bit. Um, you know, we're just trying to keep that at a at a good simmer. We can, uh, you know, we put that water in. It was hot water. By the way, use hot water when you add hot water, you know, water to stuff like this. It will seriously uh, help with your cooking time. It's not, you know, doesn't take forever to recover. We can move these coals from the outside here in and out as as we need them, and that's what we're doing. We got several of them pushed out to the side over here. Spend just a few minutes. Let's back up to a boil. Go ahead and put in our. Uh, our charred pieces, stems, all of our onions. And a real good pinch of freshly ground black pepper. I really love black pepper. Okay, we'll stir that down into there. We want uh, kind of all these things to come to be done around the same so the moisture level still looks fine. Let's go ahead and put the lid back on. We've got another few minutes. Picking right back up. The potatoes are now done. Everything is. The onions are clear. I just checked a piece of the uh, charred stem. It's still got, you know, to so it. Now here's the uh, one ingredient that. I forgot the list at the beginning, and this whole this milk. is cold, so this so. is going to take a quite a bit of the fire out of our pot. We want about to double what we had in there for moisture-wise, and then we don't want to cook this milk, so or our clams. So right now we're going to go ahead and put the clams in. These are our smoked ones. We let uh, some of the oil drain from those. And then here's our fresh ones. These are babies, by the way. Real quick, I'm just gonna give it a stir and test for seasoning. Perfect. I could use a little more pepper, but I, I'll put that on mine as and when I eat it. Um, definitely uh, taste the smoke smokiness from the clams coming through there. So, like I said, we don't want to boil the milk. We just want it to come up to just a bubble, and then we're gonna take it aside and put just like three coals under it. Put the lid back on. Okay, starting to see just a little bit of bubble. So, now we're gonna go ahead, grab this guy up. Over here beside, I've just put five of these little tiny coals over there. That's just enough to keep this warm, basically. I'm gonna put it over there. Put the lid on it. And we'll move the rest of these coals out of the way here. So all that needs now is a little time for all the flavors to come together. We'll be ready to eat. Alright folks, uh, everything's ready. Plate up's really simple.
powder in the bowl. So lots of clams on that. I'm gonna take a few of our reserved smoked clams and just kind of lay them right on top where you can kind of see them. These are delicious just straight up. Then we have a, a little black pepper which is my favorite uh, season. I love it on this dish. We put a little on the plate. Then I have some uh, little cast iron made um, toast squares with olive oil and butter and a little Seminole Swamp seasoning as your uh, for dipping. So there you are. That is uh, smoked clam chowder right here in the Backwoods Gourmet. Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. Please subscribe, share, and comment. Hey, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button. We'll see you next time. watching the Backwoods Gourmet today on this very, very windy day. Hopefully we don't get blown away by a tornado tonight. If we don't, we'll be back.